let's first begin by talking more about the state of BIM. At, um, at the turn of the 21st century, the building and construction industry was undergoing a transition from 2D method for design and construction to a new approach using 3D digital models, what we call building information modeling. BIM involves creating and using intelligent 3D models to develop and communicate project decisions. So we, we transitioned from drawing boards, tracing paper, 2D hand drawing and sketching, to graphic tablets, and then AutoCAD 2D. But now, we reached a world of 3D. As you can see in this picture to the left, um, we have a universal drafting machine. Um, this device basically combined T-squared, triangles, scales, and it, it enabled the drafter to create perpendicular lines at any orientation. But in a traditionally slow-moving field, the percentage of companies that are using BIM has jumped throughout the years. So we had almost a 28% in 2007. This jumped to 49% in 2009, to 71% in 2012, and now this number is even higher. As with most new technologies, the underlying concept of BIM were first developed by academics before being adopted by the industry. And in this case, it can be traced back to basic 2D and 3D computer-aided design research of the 1970s. And the next early leap for BIM occurred with the introduction of the fourth dimension, 4D, or time. In 1986, the concept of temporal phasing was used for the first time during the phased construction of Heathrow's Terminal 3. The dimensions of BIM were further developed to a fifth 5D in 2000. The release of Autodesk Revit allowed cost to be associated with individual components, thus allowing contractors to generate not only construction schedules, but also cost estimates. One of the first projects to use Autodesk Revit was the Freedom Tower in New York City, which was completed in a series of separate but linked BIM files. Now that we have a brief history of BIM, let us talk more about it. Building information modeling is an intelligent model-based process that provides value across the life cycle of a project, any project. Although BIM has become synonymous with building design, the fact is that the definition and more importantly, the potential value of BIM is the same in every industry. The BIM process involves creating and using an intelligent 3D model to inform and communicate project decisions. A process shift to building information modeling can fundamentally improve the way we plan, design, build, and manage our building, infrastructure, utility, or natural resource project. Now that we, we briefly mentioned BIM, we have to remember that BIM is a process which focuses on the development, use, and transfer of a digital information model. It strives to create a holistic flow of information where the transfer of data is used throughout the life cycle of the building. Revit is just one segment of BIM workflow, spanning from schematic design through construction administration. But how, how is BIM different than CAD? Now, since some of you still have not implemented BIM, they probably are using CAD. Um, simply put, BIM is a way to design, construct, and operate buildings that involves creating and using intelligent 3D models. Compared to traditional 2D drawings, these models give all stakeholders a better understanding of the project, leading to better, more predictable building outcomes. So how, how is BIM really different from CAD? BIM is more than simply 3D CAD, more than just a 3D model of a building. BIM solutions use relational database technology to embed information and relationships into models to create intelligent models. We're taking insight of what we are building, not just modeling something in 3D. Our objects and our work are both intelligent. And at the same time, we're collaborating with others who have their own insights and their own expertise, and we're being more productive by doing so. 
what are what are the benefits of BIM? We all talk about BIM. We're, we're quite familiar with it. I hope so at this point. Um, but what are some of the benefits that you get when you implement BIM? When successfully implemented, BIM workflows can support more efficient workflows and more accurate communication that help address project complexity. It can help firms to compete more aggressively using simulation to optimize design and promote greater predictability. It can use cloud and mobile platforms to help stakeholders get, in the, get all the information that they need, when they need it, where they need it, so they can respond more quickly to changes that impact project outcomes. And it can put vast amounts of information in context to better inform decision making. So we have an insightful decision making. We have some of the more immediate benefits of BIM are presented here. So well-planned projects have the potential to eliminate up to 40% of unbudgeted change orders. It can reduce total project time by up to 7%, and it can offer cost estimation accuracy within 3%. It can also create a savings of up to 10% of the contract value through clash detection. And it does so by increasing design effectiveness through analysis cycles, allowing for greater degrees of prefabrication, and improving field efficiency through 3D coordination, and reducing drawings discrepancies. In, in operations and maintenance, it also has some immediate benefits, and some of them can be seen in studies performed by USGSA and uh, Carnegie Mellon University. Um, it can save up to 10 cents per square foot by navigating the project closeout package. It can save up to 23 cents per square foot annually based on simple access to accurate information. So all these benefits led to a rapid adoption of BIM. More and more firms are turning to BIM to help give them a competitive advantage and improve productivity. Numerous studies and surveys document the rapid adoption of BIM across the building industry and around the world. Um, a research and market study found that the international building information modeling market will reach $11.7 billion by year 2022 with a compound annual growth rate of 21.6% between 2006 and 2022. The research firm said it expects the Asia-Pacific region to experience the most growth in demand due to its rising construction activity and the push of BIM mandates. The UK also had a significant growth recently. 136% growth in the UK can be basically attributed to the government mandates for BIM on uh, centrally funded projects. South Koreans and Australian contractors are also actively advancing their use of BIM in response to economic activity. As, as we just saw, like, adoption of BIM is increasing, and the use of digital models for virtual design, construction, and collaboration is becoming standard, and now governments, organizations, and owners around the world are mandating BIM on new building projects. For example, as you can see in this map right here, um, we, can, we can remember that in early 2014, the European Parliament approved a directive for public sector procurement. Uh, that encourages public authorities to consider using BIM in public works and draws attention to the opportunity and benefits that BIM can present to public construction projects. In 2011, like we just mentioned, the UK government announced the BIM strategy that requires collaborative 3D BIM on government projects by year 2016, so we're, we're, we're right there. Since the government accounts for approximately 40% of UK construction capital expenditures, this is a very aggressive BIM mandate. In the US, the General Services Administration, the government agency which builds and manages federal facilities, and the largest owner of commercial space in the US, began requiring the delivery of building information models for major federal buildings um, in 2006. 
Um, also, since 2008, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers requires the use of BIM for all military construction projects to improve construction time and cost. Outside this whole region, if we go to Brazil, Mexico, Japan, Finland, they're all pursuing BIM mandates. Same thing in the Middle East, you have Qatar, Dubai, Saudi Arabia have also been part, BIM has been part of their infrastructure specifications. 